hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is chimaima today we are going into the part three of the series advice for 200 level medical students if you've not seen the part one and two please go and see it i'll put the link up for you with that said let's get started so the first thing i need to tell you is that the courses that you're doing in 200 level is entirely different from what you did in your 100 level in 200 level you do anatomy you do biochemistry you do physiology now this biochemistry some schools call it medical biochemistry like my school and some schools School call it biochemistry so it depends on how your school calls it then of course you will do the GST courses now it depends on your own school in my school in addition to anatomy biochemistry physiology you also do GST courses you also do community medicine so it all depends on how things are done in your own school so now you have this in mind we can now continue with the advice that i have for all 200 level medical students with respect to the courses that i've mentioned earlier on i'm going to tell you please don't spend all your time preparing for GST courses because they told you that if you don't pass GST courses, you're going to fail, you will not graduate, this and that, 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 that. Yes, I understand. But the truth is that if you fail your anatomy, your biochemistry, your physiology, some schools do what we call pre-MB, meaning you will not even move on to 300 level if you fail these courses. So don't take all your time studying for GST and then you leave your anatomy, you leave your biochemistry, you leave your physiology. Let's take for example, if you have 8 hours to study, use 2 hours for anatomy, 2 hours for biochemistry, 2 hours for physiology, and the remaining 2 hours, use it for those extra courses. The remaining 2 hours, use it for GSTs, community medicine courses, all within those 2 hours, but allocate enough time for your anatomy, physiology, biochemistry. And at the same time, don't say because it's biochemistry that is so difficult for me or this anatomy that is so difficult for me or anatomy is voluminous. You now neglect other courses and put all your effort into studying five hours biochemistry alone and then anatomy is just one hour, physiology just one hour. Don't do that. Allocate your time accordingly. My point is don't just neglect other courses and put all your effort into one particular course just because that course is giving you a problem. That will mean you failing other courses. You need to pass all your three courses. Remember what I told you in the part two of the tips if you are looking for distinction you need to put in effort in all courses because nobody's going to give you a distinction in any course if you failed any other course to be able to get a distinction in any course you need to have passed these other two courses take that in mind for the gst courses what i'll advise you do is if you can get past questions please do if you can get probably the gst textbooks or if you can get materials just ask your seniors they will tell you tips on how to pass gst in your own school for my school you need to get all these GST apps. That's what helped me in my time. These GST question bank apps, answer those questions. Sometimes questions could be repeated or you get the recommended textbooks and read. They are going to help you a lot. And then the next tip I'm going to tell you is please aim for at least 60% in every single exam that you write. Now this is most especially for those looking for distinction. If you're scoring 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, getting a distinction in your main MB will be a Herculean task. If you have already been scoring 60, 60, 60, 70, 70, 70, 70, I mean, it will be easier for you to climb up to that 70 in your main MB. So what I'm going to tell you is please aim for 60, 60, so that at least if you fail, you will still have a 50 something. And then the next tip I'm going to tell you is, now is the time to apply for scholarships. Don't let it pass you by. 200 level is the right time for scholarship. There'll be scholarship flying up and down, left, right, center. Especially if you're less than 25 years old, utilize your opportunities and apply for scholarship. Remember the advice I gave to you in 100 level. If you've not seen that series, I'll put the link up for you you need to aim for a 5.0 CGPA in 100 level. Now that you've gotten this 4 point something CGPA in 100 level, this is the time for you to make it work for you. Apply for scholarships. Don't let the time pass you by. Don't be lazy. The next thing I'm going to tell you is that you should be ready to do repetitive study. If you've not seen my series on how to study for distinctions, I'll put a link up for you. I mentioned that you should be ready to do repetitive studying. Remember that these are things that you've never heard of before. These are things that you never knew before now, except of course you did a first degree. But even at that, you still need to refresh your memory. Don't study something once and then you expect to remember it in exam. Seriously? It doesn't work that way honestly like for me i used to read through same topic at least five times 
before I walk into exam hall. If you don't understand how I do that, I mention all that in my series on how to study for distinction. I explain in details how I'm able to study same topic five times despite the voluminous coursework that is up for us to study. So please prepare to read through these things several times. Don't compare your 100 level to your 200 level. You will crash if you do that. Another thing I'm going to tell you, of course, don't be intimidated, okay? Don't let anybody intimidate you. I know you're seeing your classmates move around with big gray anatomy or you see them with the three volumes of cherusia nah, 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 nah. don't let them intimidate you just face your own lane do your own study in the way that you understand remember the tip i told you in the part one of this series that you should do your own thing do what works for you so i will say it again do your own thing stay on your own lane don't compare your results to anybody i do not carry my eye to look at someone else's result to say oh what's this person's score it is demoralizing don't do it except probably you are an amiable person but you need your mental health to be good don't check other people's results look at your own results and compare it to the past results that you had use that to develop yourself stay on your lane don't let anybody intimidate you don't feel intimidated okay because this person is always answering questions in class it means this person is this this person is that nah don't let that intimidate you face your own lane and trust me you'll do very well and of course that brings me to the next point don't judge anybody i keep saying this and repeating it over and over again in all my tips don't judge anybody don't say because this person is always answering questions in class it means this person knows everything don't say because this person is always failing in class it means that that person has nothing to offer to you don't do it don't say because this person is always preaching and praying before class start and all this religious this and that it means the person is a christian don't judge any damn person don't say because this person doesn't attend classes it means that person will feel medical school is not predictable anything can happen at any time i mentioned this in my video series 15 lessons medical school has taught me if you've not seen that video i'll put the link up for you you need to see those are the lessons that medical school has taught me that's why i'm telling you now that you have entered 200 level don't be tempted to judge anybody because that person you don't see that person reading in the library it doesn't mean the person doesn't read so follow your own lane like i always say then of course one very important thing i'm going to tell you is this is the time for you to study to understand the concepts of this your anatomy biochemistry and physiology you will need it you need the understanding of this concept to be able to understand and pass your pharmacology and pathology in your 400 level this pharmacology and pathology in your 400 level you will need the concepts that you understand to be able to understand and pass the gynecology the pediatrics and medicine and surgery that you offer in your 500 and 600 level so this thing is a build up on of knowledge as you climb the ladder don't cram i am not a fan of cramming Just try to understand the concept i've told you over and over again if you read through your lecture notes or your lecture material and you don't understand look for it in textbook i've already uploaded textbooks that help me in my preclinicals so i'll put the link up for you if you've not seen that video if you don't see it in textbook look for it on youtube do everything you you can't understand whatever topic it is that you don't understand don't neglect any topic and say it's not important i am promising you you will need your knowledge of that topic to understand something else as you climb the ladder so don't neglect any topic study to understand if you've not seen my video on the youtube channels that help me in my preclinicals i'll put the link up for you you need to see that video so that you see the youtube channels that you should watch to understand one topic or the other always study to understand because apart from all this i've mentioned it is in your own words you'll be able to answer those questions in exam and when you write down things based on how you understand it you're able to convey your thoughts to the examiner to let this examiner know that you understand this and no matter how they twist the questions you will still be able to answer the question according to what the examiner needs from you so please study to understand i'm going to upload a video on how to study to understand without cramming i'll upload that video please remind me sorry guys the video was yet again too long by tomorrow i'm going to upload the rest of the video i remain your girl jemima bye